Lesson 11.4c, Writing Inequalities. We can write an inequality to model the relationship between an algebraic expression and a number. We can also write inequalities to represent certain real-world situations. A problem may provide clues and facts that we must use to find a solution. We can use logical reasoning to solve this type of problem. We can look for clue words or phrases that indicate operations or relationships. We have n plus 1 is less than or equal to 7. That means we have a variable n plus 1, and we use the less than or equal to symbol and 7. We can write an inequality that represents the phrase, the sum of x and 4 is greater than 6. The sum of x and 4 tells us its addition, so we have x plus 4. We have the is greater than symbol and 6. And we graph the value of x as the solution. We need this side to be greater than a 6. And for x plus 4 to be greater than 6, the value of x must be greater than 2 because 2 plus 4 is equal to 6. If this was 2, then this side would be equal to that side, not greater. So we're not going to include 2 in the answer, in the solution. So we're going to use an open circle on 2 because it's not included in the solution. We can check by substituting. We pick one of the numbers on our ray here, and we can choose 3. If we did 3 plus 4, that would be greater than 6. That's a 7. So that would be true. 3 is a solution for x. To safely store food, the temperature of a refrigerator must be 40 degrees Fahrenheit or below. Write and graph an inequality to represent this situation. So we're going to let T equal temperature. So the temperature needs to be less than or equal to 40. And we use a closed circle on 40 because 40 is included in the solution. It needs to be 40 degrees or below. That means it's included. We draw our closed circle and array going to the lesser numbers to show below 40 degrees. And we can check by substituting. If we substitute 40 for t, we'll have 40 is less than or equal to 40. And yes, it's equal, so that would be true. And if we use 39, well, 39 is less than 40, so that's true. So here's some symbols and clue words for inequalities. We're going to have our variable is less than if we see fewer than. Fewer than three homes sold this week. Our variable and then less than if it says below. The temperature stayed below 32 degrees. Our variable and a greater than for more than. More than 10 people were at the party. Our variable and greater than if we see above. The height was above 8 feet. That means it was greater than 8 feet. Our variable and less than or equal to if it says at most. He can afford to spend $30 at most. That means it can't go any higher than that, but it could be lower or equal. We have our variable and less than or equal to if it says no more than. He can afford no more than $30. We have our variable and greater than or equal to if it says at least. She wants to buy at least five. That means she might want to buy six or seven, so it could be greater than or equal to five. And we have our variable and greater than or equal to if it says no less than. She needs no less than four. That means it could be greater than four. It could be equal to four. We have the inequality 2 plus n is greater than or equal to 5. Which of these values for n make this inequality true? And we need to circle all that apply. If n was 2 and 5 tenths, we'd have 2 and 5 tenths plus 2. That would give us 4 and 5 tenths. Well, that's not greater than 5, so it's not this one. If we had 3, we'd have 2 plus 3. That is equal to 5, and it says greater than or equal to, so this could be a solution. That would make it true. 
if we have 3 and 5 tenths, we would add it to the 2 and get 5 and 5 tenths. That's greater than 5, so that would be a solution. For 1, if we add the 2 to it, we're only going to have a 3. That is not greater than or equal to 5, so that's not a solution. If we have 7, we add 2 to it. That gives us a 9. And 9 is greater than 5, so that's a solution. We just substitute the value into the inequality and see if it makes the inequality true. Underlining clue words can help us write a phrase as an inequality. We have the sum of y and 6 is greater than 8. Well, the sum of y and 6 tells us we're adding y plus 6. Is greater than, we use the is greater than symbol, and 8. We graph the value as y, of y as the solution. So in order for this side to be greater than this side, this side needs to have a number greater than 8. That means y must not be 2, because then it would be equal. So it's not going to include 2, but any value greater than 2 will be a solution. All the values greater than 2 are a solution. Even 2 and 5 tenths, that would be a solution. Even 2 and 1 hundredth would be a solution, because that would be greater than 2 by 1 hundredth more. We're now finished with Module 11, and we're moving on to Module 12. And our next lesson is going to be naming points in the coordinate plane. Remember, if the number is not included as part of the solution, we use an open circle, like an O for no. Have a really good day, and I hope you'll join me for Module 12. Bye.